Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. Support me on Patreon. Join the Discord over on blah, 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 blah. All right. This is an easy problem. Um, longest word in a dictionary. A lot of dislikes, and I know why. I just looked at this problem. Given a list of words representing an English dictionary, find the longest word in words. Um, that can be built one character at a time from the other words in words. Okay, so that's a little bit confusing, but what it means is we're given this list of words, right? So we might be given something like this. We want to find the longest word in this list, right? First things first. So, for example, world is the longest word in the list, but also the it's the longest word that can be built one character at a time from the other words in the list. Okay, so world is actually still the answer because it can be built one character at a time. If you look at W is the first character, then W-O. That's another character, W-O-R, another character, W-O-R-L, another character, and then finally it gets built fully. So we return world in this case. It's the longest one that can be built. World can also be built by other words in the list, but it by one character at a time, but it's not as long as world, so world is the answer. Now we look at another example. Note that this list is not sorted. So you see we got an A, B, A, A, P, P, L, you know what I mean? It's not sorted. Um, so what we look at is A, then we got banana, then we got APP, APPL, APP. So what are the longest words? Well, banana is the longest, but it can't be built by other words in the list. So that's out of the question. Um, we see apply and apple are the second longest and they're tied. Can these be built by the other words? Okay, so we have A, we got AP, we got APP, we got APPL. So we're good up to APPL for both of them. And then we got um, we got both of the words. So that's fine. We have AP. So they can both be built. Now it says in the rest of the question, it says, if there's more than one possible answer, return the longest word with the smallest lexicographical order. Um, there, If there's no answer, return the empty string. Okay. So we return apple because that comes in the alphabet before A-P-P-L-Y. If you look at this, it says both apple apply and uh, apple can be built, but we return apple because it's lexicographically smaller. It just means lexicographically smaller just means what comes first in the alphabet. E becomes E comes before Y. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do the problem now. So the first thing you're going to notice is how easy it was to do when it was sorted compared just like a problem, like problems... If, if you can figure out a problem just do, looking at test cases like in your mind, often the solution is going to be similar to how your brain works. And when we looked at the sorted one, it was so much easier than the unsorted one. So the solution we're going to take here is sort it. We're going to sort it. And you should also, a key to know when to sort is when you're dealing with you know, lexicographically smaller, that's a sign that you're probably going to want to sort at some point because we're dealing with, first of all, we want the small, the largest word where larger words will come after smaller words in sorted order. Uh, we're dealing with adding one character at a time so, and we're dealing with um, lexicographically smaller. So a lot of keys pointing to sorting. So we're going to sort this so that a word, this the word, the decomposed version of the word will become come before the later version. So when we do our linear scan, we only have to scan through once because uh, when it's sorted, the bigger version of the word is always going to come later. So we know that the bigger version will be later. That's the whole reason. So we're just going to go ahead. First thing we're going to do is just sort this. Um, I think I gave a pretty good explanation on why we're sorting it. So now that it's sorted, that's good. We're also going to loop through the word, correct? So we're going to say for string W in words, right? Okay, great. And we're also going to need this result string. So we're going to say, okay, resulting string will be like an empty string because if we don't find the word, right? The It says return an empty string if we can't find the answer, right? So we're going to return this empty string if we don't find the answer. And so I got a text message. And um, what else? Okay, so we are going to make a hash set. And the hash set is going to be of strings and it's gonna be called built words, right? And we're gonna use a hash set because it's constant time to check if an element is in the hash set. And we're just gonna fill this hash set with all of the words that are potential candidates, right? So when we first see W, that's technically counts. Like if the array was just a W, okay, that counts. That we would return W because that's the longest word. Like if that our input was literally just a list, 
and all that was in it was W? Okay, well, W is the only one. We'd put that into built words, so we'll have this condition for that special case. If W.length is equal to one, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say result is equal to W, and then we're going to say built words dot add w right and we're gonna but what we're gonna do that's a special case that we it's only one element and it's one letter like that's not gonna happen very often now when we go later we're gonna keep track of all these different words like now we see wo we add that to built words now we see wr now we see wrl we keep adding to built words and what we'll do is we'll check against the against the hash set and make sure that we have seen the previous version of the word right we have to do a check when we get to a word that has more than one letter we have to when we get to wo we have to check that we saw w before the one the version of it with the one less character so that we know that we've been able to build it character by character now so that's why we add it to the hash set so we're going to continue and say or this is the other uh thing when we update our result or if built words because we've been adding them to the hash set contains constant time lookup um the current word dot substring from the first letter to the length of it minus one to the last letter so this will if we see wo this will check that w is in the output and then that is pretty much the whole problem right there it'll just check and keep updating the result if we find a newer version of the word and the previous version has been seen before and it gets harder the only thing we have to do is check for the length now all we have to do is okay well we're not going to update result if we already have a result that is longer than the one we're currently looking for because we're looking for the longest word so if w.length is um greater than result.length that's when we want to update because we're looking for the longest version so we don't want to just update this no matter what because there could be multiple words that can be built using previous versions of the words but we want to get the longest so we just do this check for the longest version and uh yeah that's pretty much it that should be the answer there we go that's the solution let me know if you guys have any questions in the case like this where you have apple and apply we're gonna see apple first and apple will get updated to result because we sorted it so apple will be come results and when we see apply we'll be like oh we can build apply too but we do this check right here this saves us because the length isn't the applies length isn't going to be greater than result because apple and apply are the same length so it gets since we saw it first and we sorted it's going to come first and that's why we get return let me know if you guys have any questions about this please uh join the discord like the video i love you guys thank you for watching and um yeah i'll see you in the next video sorry about the text interruption all right bye